Well, Halloween is a time where people expect things to get a little spooky, but for some, strange things aren't only for Halloween. Whether it's a creepy basement, attic, or an entire building, there's a lot of places people believe to be haunted, and that includes the Washington Pavilion in Sioux Falls. And Kelly Lance Perry Groton tells us about that in this morning's Flashback Friday. Jennifer Knudsen is convinced there are more than just people prowling the catacombs of the Washington Pavilion. There are times when I'm working and I feel like there's something behind me and I'll, I'll say out loud, go away, I don't want to deal with you right now. As a late shift maintenance worker, Knudsen has been dealing with things that go bump in the night for the past year and a half. There's the time an elevator mysteriously quit working, forcing Knutson to take the stairs. And I got halfway before the, between the elevator and the fire doors. And uh, it was dark, and I could see the light underneath, underneath the fire doors, and it seemed like somebody, it, it, I could literally feel somebody had put their hand on, on my left shoulder, just, and I, I just remember, like, stopping and just, oh my God, and I jolted for, for the door. Rubbing shoulders with ghosts is just the start. And fourth floor is where I get the goosebumps. A ghost story four stories high. And there was an instance where I had looked up and in the fourth floor and I saw a child, or what looked to me like a child sitting there, you know, like this, you know, and waving them on, oh my God. And at that point in time, I freaked out a little bit, and I don't, I don't like looking back at the building anymore. Knutson's co-workers have been haunted by startling sights as well. There was a stagehand in the Great Hall sweeping the floor who couldn't brush aside a phantom's footsteps in the dust. Others tell tales of a ghost who keeps checking out what used to be the Washington High School Library. One person had seen what they looked like was a woman standing there knocking and waving like, hey, you know, I'm here. And apparently that uh, used to be the old librarian that had died, passed away, and came back to the library where she enjoyed and found comfort. The pavilion can be a spooky stronghold of dark passageways and scary sounds. This eerie ambiance can tug at the shadows of imagination, creating illusions that tingle the spine. But Knutson is certain it's not her mind playing Halloween tricks. She thinks the pavilion's apparitions are real, reaching out from the other side. I think it's something that's trying to get our attention to say, hey, you know, you're, you, you staff aren't the only ones that are here, you know, we're, we're here too, and, and uh, they're just letting someone know that, hey, you know, we can't be forgotten. With Eye on Kelloland, I'm Perry Groton. To see more stories from our archive, just head to kelloland.com and search Flashback Friday. What do you think about that? Interesting stuff. I think that maybe I'll have to go check out the pavilion and see if there's any ghosts still left there. At night? I don't know. Maybe not alone, <laughs> but I thought that was a very interesting story. Yeah, yeah, nice job.